And my brother, I think you can allow me to also join all Kenyans to uh, welcome uh, humbly. And, uh, you know, when King Charles uh, III was in the country and Queen Camilla was not around, to be able to invite to welcome her because we are busy in our session we are in session currently but uh, allow me to welcome them with warm heart with the traditional songs of of uh, africans and also to tell them uh, karibu sana the east african uh, community economic block but as you come you know you remind us uh, some memories that we will have wished to forget and i think you should actually visit uh, some, I think, four areas that I'm uh, interested in. I think the king and the queen uh, can visit like Kipia and also uh, and see the ranges and uh, the whole of uh, Rift Valley where the Maasai signed some uh, treaties, infamous treaties in 1904 through Lianana and all those ranges were taken away from the Maasai. And also for him to know that the ranges did not return back to the Maasai, some black colonizers purported to have bought from the white land grabbers. Again, they can visit uh, Nandi, and possibly that one will bring back the skull of Kwetalel Arab Samoy. Visit uh, Kericho Highland and see the tea estates that are still uh, owned by uh, the Britons, like Finlay, which is owned by somebody from Scotland, you know. And if it's possible, uh, we can get true independence. You know, there are Places Come that you can actually, and even <laughs> visit in Nairobi and <laughs> see the statue of Dedek Madhi, and well, probably you can shed light on where the grave of Dedek Madhi is. Well, that's horrible. Sankok joining us live from Arusha, uh, that is in Tanzania. He is uh, the East Africa Legislative Assembly member. Back to in studio, horrible Miriam Kitabu.